I'm Seth O'Gradney, and I'm an embryologist here at the Florida Fertility Institute. Today we'll be going over a semen analysis, or an essay for short. An essay is typically ordered by a physician when a couple has tried to achieve a pregnancy for one year without success. A complete semen analysis involves both macroscopic and microscopic examination of semen to assess both the quality and quantity of spermatozoa. The test is inexpensive and non-invasive as compared to tests regarding female infertility. Regarding sample collection, we ask that the patient observe an abstinence period of at least 24 hours, but not greater than five days, and that a sample be collected through masturbation either at our office or at home, provided the sample can be delivered to the office within an hour of ejaculation. Okay, now let's take a look at how we perform a semen analysis. Once the sample has had a chance to liquefy in the heated stage, we'll begin the macroscopic examination. We begin by gently pipetting the sample up and down, ensuring that it is well mixed. At this time, we'll be able to get the volume of the sample, assess the viscosity of the sample, and finally get the pH of the sample. Upon completing the macroscopic examination of the sample, it's time to move on to the microscopic examination. Here at Florida Fertility, we use a macular counting chamber. Ensuring the sample is still well mixed, we begin by aliquoting a portion of the sample onto the counting chamber. Using this chamber, we assess the sperm concentration, the percent of spermatozoa that are modal, and judge the forward progression of the modal sperm. Next, we prepare a morphology slide by aliquoting a portion of the sample onto a pre-stained slide which will be read to assess the percentage of normally and abnormally formed sperm. Upon completion of the semen analysis, the results are recorded and sent to their physician, allowing them to assess the next step in the couple's infertility treatment. 